Uh, hello to everyone around the world and I see that more and more people are connecting to our uh, live stream and today we are start starting a series of uh, uh, let's say communications and interviews with the uh, winners of Arte Laguna Prize uh, 14th edition and today we will start with uh, Belen Mazuescos who is uh, one of the of four overall winners in the section of painting and today we are going to speak about her participation in Arte Laguna about art in general about inspiration and about uh, different different questions related to this complicated uh, art sphere. Uh, so if you're here now watching our stream, please leave us questions and we will be happy to answer these questions in the end of our, um, our interview, our conversation. And we are very happy to see you. And today uh, I'm here, I'm Anna Schwetz, helping Arte Laguna as usual. And uh, Belen, our winner, uh, Belen, where are you now? I am in the south of Spain. <laughs> I am in Granada. Uh, here there are 40 degrees today. <laughs> I'm very hot. Um, hello to everybody. Uh, yes, great. So uh, we have some questions and we have something to show you. And uh, so we'll be ready for this interesting conversation and we are ready to start. And of course, while I'm preparing the, uh, the, the questions, uh, I'm reminding you that pre-applications for Arte Laguna, the new edition, are now open. So be inspired by Belen and uh, go to participate, okay? So we are starting and uh, to start with, I wanted to, uh, to ask about the, um, the emotions and the experience uh, that you had with uh, Arte Laguna, with uh, applying to this competition, uh, how to choose the work, how to choose the right one, and uh, how to write the, um, the concept of the artwork. And what did you feel when we all faced this uh, situation with global lockdown and this pandemia, and we started to communicate online? And now when you when you've heard this wonderful news that you became one of the winners. Your word. <laughs> I'm a little nervous uh, and worried because I don't speak English very well. I'm sorry for my Spanish, but I am uh, more confident because you <laughs> speak Spanish perfectly. Um, and maybe you can uh, help if I need it. Yeah, you know. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, I'm so happy for being one of the four overall winners of this prize. Uh, for me, it's an honor to receive this prestigious prize and being selected from more than uh, 10,000 artworks. Uh, all the finalists have works of a very high quality and I want to give my congratulations to everybody and to all the participants in, in this uh, competition. Uh, I knew about this call because I usually uh, go to Venice every summer to visit the uh, Biennial uh, and I applied for the first time uh, and I was a huge surprise to be the winner in the painting section uh, and to be a, final, a finalist first in, in the uh, competition. Um, it was uh, very easy to apply. Uh, I des decided to choose uh, five works uh, from my current project. Uh, painting and drawings uh, because it's, uh, it's a project that I want to develop further, uh, further in the future. Um, filling out the application was not difficult. Um, I had only the language handicap. <laughs> but nowadays we have translation tools on the internet that simplify the task. Um, I was very excited uh, because the participation in the exhibition at the Arsenal uh, and I had already booked the flight and the apartment to attend the opening uh, when the event was postponed because the pandemic locked down. Um, at first I, I feel disappointment uh, because of this, because uh, I dreamed of being in, in Venice in March but the organization uh, took care of us, updating uh, all the time about the situation in every moment. And I was confident that uh, sooner or later the situation will, will take place. Um, I felt a big emotion when I heard my name as the winner. Uh, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> when Sara Tortato 
explain the motivation of the jury uh, to select uh, the work of uh, the painting and photography section. I um, understood that maybe uh, it was my work for the meaning, uh, for the description of the concept. And finally, uh, Ivor Santi, the head of the jury, pronounced my name and it was really fantastic and a forgettable moment. <laughs> wow, it was like Oscar, Oscar winning ceremony, right? Like all the artists, all the finalists were there. Everybody were expecting. Yeah, and really, felicidades, congratulations. <laughs> uh, I could use all the languages, really very happy, happy for you. Um, and let's go to your artwork. Let's, let's see your art, it's so interesting. So uh, if you don't mind, I will uh, start from Arte Laguna world page and then we will go to um, uh, to your presentation. I know you have the presentation. And uh, let me share the screen to show our uh, viewers how, how does it look like. Uh, let, me, let me share the screen. Yes. Yes. So now we are on the Arte Laguna World platform where all the artists can, can uh, post their artworks, especially finalist artists. And here we can see all the information, uh, category, dimensions, year, technique, also price, if it is uh, relevant for those who want to, to show the price. And uh, here, yes, we, we can see the, the artwork that was uh, so uh, appreciated by jury. And uh, can you tell us more about this artwork? And I'm stop sharing to let the sharing option to you yes. and uh, help us to understand this artwork more. And I think that we are now here almost 30 uh, artists and creators from all over the world. Uh, so we are all um, agree with you that the artistic life, uh, the art system, uh, it is very fragile world. It's very sensitive world. And uh, your work is telling us about um, our tech system and it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece is part of a project entitled uh, Notes for an Ethnography of the Artwork. And I, I wanted to do a, a sort of visual ethnography uh, from the perspective of the artist. I studied fine arts and uh, social and cultural anthropology uh, too. Uh, and I wanted to put together uh, uh, this uh, knowledge. Um, maybe uh, can I share my PowerPoint? Uh, for, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Um, there is a message uh, with the host. Uh, uh, okay, just a moment. Make a post. Let's try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for our, for our viewers, for those people who are watching us now, uh, we are like manipulating with a lot of technologies now. So we are from Zoom, uh, doing stream on Facebook and hopefully everything will work. Uh, we will try. Uh, can you see the slide? Uh, I can see uh, folders, if you can open the, the presentation itself. Oh, sorry. Yeah, as we did it, like double click on presentation. No? Yes, perfect. <laughs> Uh, I started this project uh, three years ago and I show it uh, part of the results uh, in two exhibitions in Spain, in the south of Spain and in Krakow last year. Um, the pieces uh, have um, uh, big sizes uh, in general. And um, this project highlights the complexity of the art ecosystem uh, in which the survival of some species depend on the others and where since the 80s the gatekeepers assume a preponderant role. Uh, the artist is the, uh, the last link uh, of the chain and um, sometimes is um, uh, a ready-made <laughs> itself. 
um, and, and this is the, the meaning, the concept uh, of the, the artworks. Uh, the titles of the pieces um, are important for um, understand uh, the, the meaning, and there are uh, a lot of reference, uh, references to famous artists and their artworks. Um, in short, the main objective uh, of this artistic research is to present a visual ethnography of the field of art. Um, maybe, um, and you also use very, very often masks and different kind of camouflage. What does it mean? What do you want to say with this? Mm -hmm. I use uh, masks and camouflage. Um, uh, on the one hand, for showing uh, the art as an entertainment, and on the other hand, uh, um, like a, a tool for survival uh, in the hostile environment of the art world. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what is this costume of panda bear? What does it mean? My work is inspired in the uh, keepers of panda in the uh, Chinese preset. Um, and uh, uh, these are uh, the mediators, the, uh, the agents of the artwork that uh, are the curators of the, uh, of the artists, but uh, on the other hand, um, sometimes uh, use the artist uh, as a merchandise tool. This is the, the sense, <laughs> more or less. Uh -huh. uh, I use uh, normally uh, uh, the collage of different images, uh, and uh, then uh, uh, when the picture is uh, ready, uh, I um, translate uh, with um, charcoal on paper or uh, with acrylic on, or oil on canvas uh, normally. Mm -hmm. Yes, here we can see all the story with these personages, with this fragile artist box. This is the last uh, artwork uh, after the <laughs> pandemic uh, lockdown. Uh, this is uh, the final picture. Um, and this is <laughs> all uh, uh, from, from this size. Wow, great. So we have quite a big studio, right? Yes, I, I share uh, my studio with my husband. Uh, he's an artist too, and he's uh, another finalist in the painting section. We are both uh, very, very happy because uh, um, it's uh, a double uh, prize for us. Uh, uh, we are very excited with the idea of uh, showing uh, our um, works in Venice. And uh, it's a, a dream for us because uh, we are in love uh, with Venice, <laughs> with Italy. Generally, uh, and it's a, a, it has been a great experience uh, for both of us. Wow, great. Uh, can you please give me back the post uh, options and uh, let's continue our conversation because it's really interesting to know more about your daily art routine. Uh, how, do you, how do you manage your time during the day, during the week? I know that you're also an uh, art professor, art teacher, mm -hmm. and uh, that is very in interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I share my work as artist uh, with my job uh, as professor in the university, in the Faculty of Fine Arts, in the painting uh, department. And I have a, a full professor at timetable, but uh, the rest of the time uh, I used to go to my studio for um, continue my artistic research. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, I, when I saw your uh, list of your exhibitions, uh, it's quite impressive. So you had a lot of uh, personal shows, a lot of uh, group shows and you're very active. Why do you think in contemporary art world it is important to be active and to try to show your, your art more and in different countries? Why do you think it is very important? 
Uh, I think it's very important, in fact, because uh, you must be visible and uh, every project and every exhibition is a challenge and for me it's important to have a deadline uh, for uh, work under pressure <laughs> and I think it's uh, very important for uh, try to find the uh, legitimacy uh, inside the art system. Uh, be present and continue uh, um, with the dissemination of the work. Mm -hmm. uh, can you please uh, stop sharing screen? Yes, um, sorry. Let's, let's try to go to your... Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes, yes, perfect. I just... I just wanted to show more about, about you as an artist to give our, our guests of our stream more information about your work. Uh, and uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just a moment. Uh, can you please uh, make me a host back? Mm. Uh, it should be in the in the right uh, up corner. Oh no no! no <laughs> uh, now, if you will go back. Uh, in the top on the right? Yes, yes. In your video or my video, three points in the in the in the up right corner. I'm sorry that I um... <laughs> uh, it will tell like change the host or something. Okay, anyway, we can, we can continue. Uh, I had a question and I, I think that um, it will be interesting to, uh, to hear from you. What inspires you? Why you decided to, uh, to work about this art ecosystem topic? Uh, really share your, share your vision. What do you think about it? Um, this project is inspired uh, uh, by the tale The Naked King, um, written by Hans Christian Andersen, and it's a metaphor of the uh, uh, art ecosystem. And it's inspired too in the ideas and the thinking of the uh, art historian, historian uh, Juan Antonio Ramirez. Uh, that said that uh, the art system is an uh, extremely fragile ecosystem um, and um, in general uh, in my work uh, there are a lot of references to my uh, autobiography and uh, my think is uh, as an artist uh, my worries uh, um, and um, I wanted to put on the paper on the canvas uh, all this uh, all this thinking uh, all these ideas. Um, I teach um, uh, contemporary art market too in the faculty and um, every presentation of project and uh, all these uh, worries uh, are uh, in these uh, artworks too. But do you think that uh, an artist is a really very fragile substance? I think the situation is changing uh, now because uh, uh, we are in a global war and we have the possibility uh, of the new technologies that now with the pandemic situation um, uh, all the uh, digital revolution uh, is um, increased uh, too uh, and um, uh, this um, uh, uh, in a way, um, it's a chain of uh, paradigms uh, from um, an art system, uh, traditional art system basis in the galleries uh, 
uh, to an another uh, more fl flexible when more democratic when the artist uh, can uh, can be a sort of uh, entrepreneur and uh, develop some skill for uh, the auto promotion and um, uh, arrive to uh, the audience uh, the, uh, easily. <laughs> than, uh, yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you. But sometimes I think that artists are the most brave persons in the world because they are sharing their inner world to the public and they are so like brave in this. So uh, yeah, it's really important, the topic that you are raising. Um, I have a question also about your most strange art experiment. Mm -hmm. What was it? <laughs> mm. I don't know if the most strange, but I, I have tried with different materials, uh, such as uh, resins or um, uh, recycled materials uh, for trying different results. Uh, and I have another uh, line of research with tin. Uh, I, I, I'm making a, a sort of, a, a kind of um, ex boat. Mm -hmm. uh, Thing that uh, you find you can find in the uh, chart, um, okay. and with these uh, elements, uh, I um, I have a, I, I do installation and mm -hmm. uh, another uh, more experimental uh, uh, line of research. But now uh, I'm. Uh, uh, um, Inside, uh, the painting and uh, this is my my main uh, work. <laughs> uh -huh. So uh, the question here is that uh, some people, some artists, are telling that painting is an old style, and that in future we will have only media art, digital art. What do you think? I see in the opposite, <laughs> really. <laughs> Yes. In the future, uh, we have the commitment and uh, the responsibility to uh, conserve the tradition, but uh, reinventing uh, the tradition uh, from a new perspective, from a, um, a new concept, uh, a contemporary concept. Um, and, and I think uh, that the real contact with the material, with the artworks, is uh, very, very important. And uh, the pandemic uh, has demonstrated uh, this thing too. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, um, the, the painting and the drawing is not a, um, obsolete, uh, an obsolete uh, uh, technique, uh, but mm -hmm. uh, the opposite, uh, I think, uh, is the future of the art, the uh, renovation, no? the revival, the recuperation of this technique uh, with a, a new thinking. Uh -huh. Okay, great. I'm, I'm very happy to hear that because a lot of pe people, they are absolutely in love with painting. They think that this contact of the, of the brush with the canvas or with the paper, it's kind of magic, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, the time that you need for uh, painting or drawing and uh, for uh, enjoying uh, the painting and drawing is uh, different to the uh, past time to see another kind of uh, uh, artworks with uh, other uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the next question is, uh, what obstacles do you face uh, making and exhibiting your work? What is a difficult thing about uh, making exhibition? Mm -hmm. um, for the production of the, the work, uh, maybe the lack of time sometimes, because uh, normally I, I'm very busy with the university too. Uh, the lack of inspiration when you are uh, with uh, uh, too many thinking. Um, and for the exhibition, um, uh, I don't have the support of any gallery, and uh, this is uh, difficult because uh, uh, I'm I'm able to show my my works uh, in institutional spaces, and uh, because I. Um, uh, I'm, I'm participating in uh, awards and uh, another kind of competition, uh, but it's difficult uh, with without a gallery. Um, um, exit from the local uh, scene, mm -hmm. local, um, space. <laughs> yeah. Now with Art Laguna, you 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 has you have publicity everywhere. We are trying to 
to do our work really like really very best uh okay the question the next question is uh you mentioned that your husband is also an artist mm -hmm. and he also applied for arte laguna but you won uh was he jealous about this <laughs> He's uh, so happy um, and we are both uh, very happy because we are two finalists and this is uh, incredible because uh, uh, there were uh, more than 10,000 artworks and uh, we are uh, lucky <laughs> in fact, no, no, uh, we share the prize. <laughs> we share the prize too. And do you already know where you're gonna when you go where you're gonna invest this prize money? It's it's a very good price. <laughs> I think part of this money uh, will be for an intensive uh, English course. <laughs> I need it, and uh, for invest in general, invest in my career. Um, I need a website. Uh, I, I use a social network, but I don't know a site. Um, I need some preparation in the studio, the lights and other uh, things. Uh, for traveling, uh, that is uh, very important for um, doing different experiences um, that then you put in your, in your works in any way. Um, uh, Investing uh, the participation in another course and in the production of the, the artwork and the material and I know the resources for the production of the artwork. Yeah, that's so great to, to hear that you are investing this price in further development in increasing your career and materials and everything. It's so, it's so exciting and it's so inspiring. And uh, uh, we, are, we are moving closer to this um, this uh, like the final part of our uh, of our interview and uh, yeah and I see that our our viewers of our online stream uh, they want to know more about you personally uh, why you decided to become an artist and uh, did you think during your career as an artist to change everything to go to I don't know to work in the bank or something like something more stable. Somebody al always ask artists, do you want to have a stable work? Uh, what about you? I am very lucky because uh, I have a stable work um, in the university. But uh, at the same time, this is uh, the reason um, that uh, has, um, has motivated um, that um, uh, I have a work less. <laughs> In, in my artworks because uh, the university um, needs uh, many, many time. Um, but now I, I have the uh, established the position and I, I, I want to um, prioritize, uh, prioritize, prioritize um, put See, priority. the artist production in the first time too because um, at the same time it's my artistic research in the university, the theoretical research, but uh, of course, uh, the artist production. Uh -huh. But why you decided to become an artist? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when I was in the high school, um, I did uh, artistic drawing and the professor um, said to me that uh, it will be a possibility to study fine arts. Uh, but uh, I don't know, uh, really, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Uh, but uh, are you happy as an artist? Do you feel that with every work you're spreading some good energy or some knowledge or something that can change the world? What is your artistic mission? I, I am very happy uh, as an artist and I think uh, we are um, a privileged uh, person uh, for do this. Uh, I think uh, the mission of the, the artist is to um, translate uh, the, the reality in many sense and um, uh, show uh, uh, the thinkings and um, uh, their questions um, uh, to, uh, 
through to the audience, to the social society. Mm -hmm. Yes, great. And uh, I have the last question. It is very important for those artists who are now around the world listening to this online stream and then will listen to this uh, video. Uh, can you encourage them to be brave, to continue artistic career and uh, to try all the possibilities, all the options and not to stop their creativity, their art practice? Please, your, your word as a winner you have already your experience and you have already your, your uh, prizes. What can you tell to young artists or emerging artists, no matter what age of them? Uh, it's difficult, but my advice is um, be honest with your goal, uh, uh, be patient, uh, patient too, <laughs> uh, work hard uh, because at the end uh, you reach your dream and um, this is uh, the proof. Um, 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 uh, try to, to find your, your own uh, language, um, uh, your brand, your personal brand, your um, personal way uh, to, to put in, in the work Yes, great. I hope that everybody will listen to us. And um, I think that we will have more and more beautiful and strong artists after this conversation. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, congratulations one more time and 100 more times. And continue your work and continue your artistic practice and uh, say hi to your husband. <laughs> he's, very, he's very lucky to have uh, such a creative and such a talented wife. Uh, thank you very much. And um, yeah, and we will continue and uh, join us also tomorrow because tomorrow we will continue with uh, Moshe Bolaj, uh, the other winner. And uh, for those artists who are listening to us, who are watching us now, uh, pay attention that pre applications are open now, and now there is um, like discounted price for registration uh, fee. So uh, apply for Arte Laguna and try to reach the same goal as uh, Belen already reached. And good luck to everyone. And uh, summer is amazing, and uh, summer is very inspiring for the creation of new art. And uh, thank you once again, Belen. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, all the team, for support uh, the contemporary art and doing this prize uh, a real thing. Uh, thank you so much for promoting uh, the emerging artists. Yeah, and see you in Venice yes. next year. <laughs> the, the flight now. I, I have. I, I booked okay. it. Okay, great. Thank you so much, and see you soon. Ciao.